Hi everyone, welcome to uh, part 2 of Forensic Examinations 5. Okay, uh, when I left off I just covered the file signatures uh, of these files that were on my thumb drive. Alright, now the metadata for these files, um, someone once said to me that metadata is data about data. Um, it's a good description, I guess. Uh, the file dates here this is metadata, okay. Uh, the size of the file is metadata. There's even a title here, meta, okay, and that and that relates to obviously various bits and bobs about the file. Um, things like the file identifier numbers, which I've talked about before, that's metadata. It is data about data. It, it's file information, etc., etc. Okay. Now, in the case of the caller bomber. All right. Now I'm not sure. Uh, when you read the article, it says that there was an old Word document on a deleted Word document on the thumb drive, the memory stick, whatever you want to call it, that was recovered and uh, that was written in Word. It was an old ransom note, and that the guy's name was in the actual file. Now, when you create a Word document. Uh, when you install Word, sorry, it asks you for your name, company you work for, etc., etc. Well, that is stored in every single Word document that you then produce. Um, the author name, things like that. If you look up, if you go to the properties of that file within Word, it, you know, there's all sorts of information that is stored in there, okay? So, uh, this is our Word document here, alright? Now, like I said to you previously, it's got a PK file signature. Um, which indicates that it's a compressed file and as you can see there there's contents.type.xml there all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the video briefly i'm going to copy this into uh, a windows environment and i'm going to use either winzip or winrar either one will work uh, to split that file to, op to open that file up and pull out all the sections that are in there and show you the kind of information that is stored within the word document okay and, and basically this is how the guy was caught uh, from what I can gather from the news articles okay so you can just bear with me I'm gonna pause the video and when I come back we should be in a Windows environment right okay uh, I have a Windows XP environment here I've got WinZip installed alright but like I said you can use WinRAR as well uh, on the desktop is the ransom note which I extracted from our thumb drive or memory stick. Um, the autopsy software has told me that it's volume two C ransom dot note. All right, now it's kept the extension that this Windows XP installation isn't set to display uh, file extensions for known files. Okay, but it does recognize it as a wind as a, a Word 2007 document. So if I just double click on that. This is my ransom note. Uh, great. However, if I were to right click and open with, all right, browse, and I'm going to open it with WinZip, uh, which is there. Okay. Uh, use validation. Cancel that. Open archive, sorry. All files. There it is. All right. So what you've got is you've got three folders in the, in the root of the docx file. All right. Doc props word and then underscore rels. You've got content types dot xml. Remember seeing uh, in the contents of the actual dot doc file that name there. All right. You can open these up. All right. These are xml files. And there's all information there regarding the. Uh, the word document, all right. The theme. Uh, well, they, you can just see it there, all right. There's all sorts of information, and that's just one file, all right. If I open up document properties, app.xml, uh, it's one page. It's seven words. It's the normal template. Microsoft Office Word. Sharks the Forensics was the name of the company, all right. Uh, there's all bits of information in it. Characters with spaces, 46. You know, this is all information that is you just need to open it up with uh, WinZip. And there's the creator name, all right? 
which is me. Created uh, 1st of September 2011 at 12.16. Alright. Uh, modified last 1st of September 2011 at 12.16. So basically I've opened it, I've written the document, I've saved it, and that's all I've done with it since. Alright. One revision, alright, which is the once that I opened it and used it, I think. Or it might be the revision, it might count the revision that I just opened the file. I'm not sure. Either way, there's my name. Boom, I'm waiting for the police now to knock on my door and send me to prison for threatening to blow someone up. Alright? And that's how I believe the Carl Obama was caught. If you read that article that I give you the URL for earlier on, that is it. Alright? There's more XML files. I mean, you can have a read them if you want, but it's all about fonts and spacing and, and whatever, okay? But that's it. Um, and that pretty much brings this video to an end uh, sorry it's been fairly brief uh, and sorry it's been a long time since the last video work is going the way I've, I've had a, a lot going on so it's been really difficult to get the time to put these videos together but um, right now I'm starting to put together a whole list of um, videos that we can go through all, you know all various uh, sections that we need to work through um, I'm trying to keep it as interesting as I can for you because a lot of it can get quite dry and not boring but it it's not all you know sort of stripping files and recovering deleted stuff you know a lot of it can be quite boring mathematical stuff but I mean I will do it because at the end of the day if you're watching them I guess you're interested and you want to get into the work so again thank you very much please leave comments um, and also I'll be putting in um, messages out on my youtube channel as well to keep everyone updated on when the next video is and, and what it's going to be about so okay take it easy thanks